record before. Yes. When I was eight years old in 2015, I did it. But last two years ago now, a guy named Stan Stark got the record, so I'm getting it back. Good thing you need it back. You need it back. I will be doing that. I will be praying that you definitely, you deserve that. You look like you deserve that. And listen, I do not. I am gonna look. I'm gonna pay for this meal for you. This one's on me, so you take that with a little bit of grace today and know that I'm, I'm behind you, I promise you. There has been so many stories. A couple of years ago, we had a man that paddled the Mississippi. Him and his brother started it and his brother, they never finished, they were halfway. And then his brother got really sick and his brother asked him to finish. So the day that he, he knew he was gonna finish, his brother died. But he had his brother's hair clipping, his beard, he shaved his brother, he cut his fingernails and his toenails, groomed him all up, and he took that in a little bag the day his brother died. And he took it and then about, maybe about two weeks later, he did the rest of the track down the Mississippi. And when he got to the end, he did his own little Mario to his brother. So he, he let all of that go. Oh my God. And when we picked him up out of his little, picked up him and his boat, he was so emotional. I will never forget that day. What's your name? Justine. And do you own this place? Yes, I do, babe, yes. Four years, I'm just in four years. <laughs> and this is the stuff, I'm not making money here, this is the stuff that gives me the goodness here. It's meaning a man like that and carrying this. Okay. So this is my goodness. This is my goodness right here. <laughs> this book is my goodness. <laughs> Getting a little adventurous. Yeah, it is. Going to the southernmost point in Louisiana. Holy catfish. <laughs> Whoa, that went down pretty yeah, deep. Yeah, that was a little deeper on that side. Clear. What I'm doing today is I'm going to be spending the day, most of it, in Venice, just walking around alone and just taking turns and hitchhiking if I need be between things and just letting the whole atmosphere sink in because this is a very, very important point for a source to sea paddler on the Mississippi River. Uh, this is their last contact with humanity, Venice is. Once they leave here for the next 22 miles, there is nothing but an occasional boat that goes by. Well, ever since Amy found out that we were going this far down south, she wanted to see some alligators. She finally found some alligators. Really hard to tell, but... It's a gator, right there. There's been three of them in this little pool. She's flying the drone around him right now. After we dropped Dale off to have his alone time, we went back to the hotel for a little bit. And now we're back out here for the sunset. We're gonna shoot a time lapse. Hopefully get some cool shots of these alligators. So this is called a time lapse slider. I put my camera on this little cart right here. Uh, that thing sticking off on the top of the camera is an extra battery because the batteries don't last that long. And this cart is motorized and very slowly it slides across this track. Yeah, that'll take about an hour and a half. We should get a pretty cool time lapse out of that. And in the meantime, I'll be using my 
long telephoto lens to try and get some shots of these alligators. So the camera that I'm filming on right now will hook up onto that lens. And I can zoom in really close on those gators. Oh, he must be right here. Hey, I'll take everybody out for breakfast this morning. Okay. I can just check this out. I like, no, no, cool. We have a souvenir station coming up over here. T-shirts and hats. <laughs> Graybeard T-shirts, Graybeard hats. He's got like an endless supply of these. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. So today is the day that Dale's family starts showing up. Then it's going to start getting busy around here. Oh, there we <laughs> This is really hard all right. to get him here. Yeah, where are you guys all coming from? Ohio. Ohio. Hey, get a Philippine squat well, classification. You got a you still have great it feet. Yeah, dude. It's like 30 yeah. years old. You got it. Yeah. That's older. I couldn't hold this for a long time. I like how this is what they call a red drum. A redfish. <laughs> so you gotta take it like this so it looks huge. You gotta make the camera really close. <laughs> wow, that thing's enormous. This is a white, what's called a white trout, and these are small ones. I, I thought we might catch oh. more, but look at those little vampire, Whoa. vampire oh, teeth wow. right there. Get that on film. But like you can tell, these have been eating a lot of shrimp. Show Alex. Because of the the paint, the orange on the inside yeah. of the mouth. Like if they're depending on what they're feeding on, when they feed on a lot of shrimp, it stains the inside of their mouth. So then this is where they pollinate, but I don't know. This is open like this. And then these become each individual like petal or something. Is a banana? I don't I've never actually like thought about a banana tree before. Banana. <laughs> I'm from the Deep north. Deep thoughts on bananas. <laughs> I'm from the north. We don't have banana trees. <laughs> Friends and family are starting to arrive. And it's going to be a party from here on out, I think. Mariam has been working hard since almost the minute she got here to prepare dinner. We're going to be eating some delicious Filipino food tonight. These two are actually going on my little wall of fame that I keep at the house. But this one right here, Mike Jones, is the guy that kind of put everything together in Greenville and arranged the uh, reception there. And so. He did not ask me to do that, but I know he'd like to have this, and I'm going to get everybody to sign it to him. Yeah. I certainly thank everybody for helping with the food, but let me tell you right now, Miriam is always there when it comes to celebration. She just puts things on at the spur of the moment. She just puts them together great. And I'm telling you right now, I am so blessed to have that woman right there in my life. Thank you, Miriam. You are